Frame stiffness, what is it all about? I've always wanted to try a flexier front triangle. I think it'll work out good for my cornering technique and the trails I ride. So I hope I've laid me up a frame just like that um, with a different carbon weave. So let's go to the frame details. Here we go. The stats on the new front triangle are approximately 170 grams lighter. Uh, on a deflection test, as you can see, clamp in the bottom bracket and then twisting through the fork, through the headset, uh, with from 50 to 300 newtons of force pushing down. The production H1 deflects 11.75 millimeters. The new lightweight H1 deflects 13.5 millimeters. That equates to 14.9% more flex. Okay then, let's get this frame swapped and uh, get it ridden. Joe Barnes, H1 17 Special. How do you find Will Smith in the snow? Some dudes sitting in a milk truck, tossing bottles against the wall. God might, God from his aid. For good people like y'all. 14 and abandoned, living by the bus station. Eating sausage out old boxes, buzzing for them dirty pictures. While the truckers pass it round, while the hookers trace it all. God made modern music. I was a little bit confused then for a second. <clears throat> the uh, seat post is changed size to a 31.6 from a 30.9 from my original prototype frame. Shotgun blast and pile of blood, the detectives are still inside. The trees are downstairs with the baseball cap and all the tears that Tammy cried. Oh, did you look at that? Adam started the fight, now he's too weak to crawl. Beautiful. Got the special rocker link. Mustache. Top Chief mullet. Secret codes. Get out on the bike. Okay, high setting on the flip chips for the mullet, the small back wheel. Six silver trucks at Pepper's Den, another five at Doug's Missy Lounge. All night playing a country music, don't play you know, it up no jazz. Play them songs I want to hear, or I'm ripping off your ball. Got my head. Right, let's give it a test ride. Right. That feels comfy, I have to say. That balance between comfort and just swerving about unnecessarily. And that feels pretty nice. But I think red runs tomorrow. Fingers crossed, get Craig on the data and uh, we'll check out the true difference. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Food for thought. Morning. Out bright and breezy today. Test day at Nevis Range. Meeting Craig Miller on the data. See if uh, science uh, confirms feelings. Always interesting. Uh, feeling a bit on the hoop side today. Chest infection from the last three weeks kicked in a bit, but got my lovely, fluffy, warm and dura fleece on. Fresh out of the packet, giving me a nice warm cuddle. So 
Potentiometers. Right. Potentiometer. Your, just your spring track, your fork travel. Right. Um, so displacement, dynamic sag from them. We GPS tracker. Just map out where See you're going. where I am See in how the world. Good it is in the trees. Yeah. Um, but mainly the logger itself has got built-in gyros and accelerometers. Um, so it's got free axis gyros and free axis accelerometers. And from that, at a thousand hertz, we'll hopefully be able to see a difference in lateral accelerations. And that'll give us an indication if the frame's doing anything different. To do three back-to-back -back runs on a tracking are really well. Uh, with the data set on, I'm going to have heart rate, time, like actual time riding down the hill, and then all these, all these numbers from potentiometry, potentiometers. Yeah, mainly the lateral accelerations, that's what we're what we're interested in. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is just part of the picture. Yeah. The time, the heart rate, we'll see, see how you feel and see how that relates. Long as I have my clams, I don't give a damn about muddy water. One minute twelve, one six one heart rate. Long as I have my plans, I don't give a damn about revolution. Back for a spot of lunch and a frame swap. Uh, pros and cons. Me very likey, very likey in the tech. That slow tech, just pick my way down beautifully. But I'm not sure in the chop, in the fast chop. So we'll wait and see at the end of the day. Ride the other frame, see how it goes. I know I'm doing something wrong. The Let's delve into the fields. So, we're going to have to take timing out of this because I did the exact same time on every track all day long on either frame. Um, but I was riding tracks I know really well and riding them at 90%, so that's what happens. Um, so I'm going down to feel. And the feel was quite, quite substantially different actually for the 14.9% difference in flex. So the the stiffer frame was very nice at holding the line and riding slightly smoother berms. You felt like you boosted out of them very nicely. And it also, there was a no notable part on the trail, there was a little route and you kind of, your front wheel goes around it and your back wheel would hit it. So you just like do a little cutty around it. And um, the stiffer frame just drifted out under pressure slightly nicer. So that was quite interesting. But then going to the flexier frame, um, I felt like it got stood up quite a lot less in some turns, which was quite interesting. Just coming around some rooty, a rooty right-hander in particular, and the stiffer frame was just standing me up a little bit, and the flexi frame kind of rode a, a, a nice arc around it. So that was quite good. Uh, and then just general comfort on slow technical terrain was also nice on the flexier frame. So it turned out there's pros and cons to both. Now it's time for the data. Nick from Dynamics, who was there in the car park with me and Craig, has put together a beautiful Very overview yeah. uh, of what we were up to. Uh, this is the data system we used, the BYB. And the tracks, I chose two different tracks. The Blue Crane track, which has got a fast top section, lots of small patter bumps, 
rock pitching and the middle's a bit flowier but it's got some pretty big G outs on it and the bottom you've got to sort of try and fight your way along it's quite rough and hard to carry speed and the second track I chose was a bit rutty a bit flowier and you sort of more swooshing down the hill so that's what we had uh, and then we go to the gyroscopic data analysis so interesting this is the rotational movement of the bike more for rider inputs and suspension but as we kept hopefully these very similar rider input and suspension we can then read into a bit of what the frames doing so we've got front to back on the left lean on the middle and swerving about on the right uh, so yeah here we are and the stiff frame in the blue flexi frame in the red so as you can see here the blue is slightly lower than the red so generally speaking on all these different planes the stiffer frame was slightly less active and you could say more stable so that's interesting uh, and then we go down to the accelerometer data analysis um, so this is uh, how long in different ranges of acceleration so it's time and acceleration and we've got the stiff frame in the blue again and the as you can see the blue is slightly lower than the red so the blue frames spent less time accelerating about again could say slightly less active slightly more stable so the stiff frame on the blue crane on the data analysis was moving about less and doing a good job this fits my feelings on the blue crane trail I did test four tracks the data on two tracks and the blue crane was definitely the trail where I thought this is normally quite unpleasant it's a rough track it's quite hard to hold your line but it was slightly less unpleasant on the stiff frame okay let's go down to ridge line slightly ruttier slightly flowier trail but uh, here we have a reversal of fortunes the stiff frame the blue one is now higher than the flexi frame um, which it did feel like when I was riding down it felt like I had a lot more flow on the flexi frame on this track um, so the flexi frame there we go it's the red line is slightly lower this time instead of higher um, suggesting that flexi frame on this type of track was slightly more stable and getting kicked about slightly less okay excellent to see some quality data feel some feelings and ride some bikes. It was a good experiment. For me, I was buzzing on the flexi frame. I love my bike already, tried something new, thought it was good for me, for the majority of trails I ride, and I'm basically just like jamming my bike into a tight turn. So that's well good. Uh, obviously, I'll ride the bike way more over the next year and probably learn a load more about it. Uh, so that's good, big shout out to Nick from Dynamics for crunching the data, Craig Miller for the setup, and Sam Gibbs for designing the layup for that beautiful frame. Thanks for watching. Increase the peace. See you next time. Bye. Just want to thank you all for coming on here. This was very interesting. Keep it real. Yo, respect. 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 respect.